Welcome to my most sterile of surgeries. I'm Dr Ashton and I'm going to be taking a look through a hit list of a slightly taboo subject, your mountain biking injuries. And we're going to start with the most important, the noggin. Let's take a look at our first head injury patient and it is Eric Hansen. Oh. This looks nasty. Seven facial fractures, concussion, road rash on his face, which we can all see, and stitches. Now that is scary. In fact, head injuries are scary. Take a look at this seemingly normal ride of downhill from Andy Hill, where he knocks himself clean out. Thank goodness Andy was wearing his helmet. But let's move on to some parts of the anatomy that aren't quite so easy to protect. Not so easy to protect are your wrists. Now I've done this a few times and there's nothing worse than standing up from a crash and your wrist being all floppy. It's truly horrible. Now check this one out, Adam Nichols. Snapped forearm and a dislocated wrist looks ugly. Not to be outdone, let's take a look at Aeneas Bernardo's wrist injury. First time he did it, that's right, I said first, six titanium bolts. Second time, he needed 11 titanium bolts. Now that is going some. Keep your wrists safe, people. Next up, let's look at a trio of patients who have all managed to do some serious damage to the old tib and fib. Problem is, when you're pedaling your bike, your shins are out there, ready to get hit. They're the first things that take a knock. So our first patient, Oliver, has got a great example of how he's done that. Oh, that is a compound fracture of both tib and fib. Nasty. Not to be outdone, take a look at this from Thomas Kreischer, who's done a nasty bit of damage to his fibula, just about there. Have a look. Yep, he's needed some metal work. But look at our last patient here, who's really taking it to the next level. This is Dale Williams' type six tibial plateau fracture, reconstructed with 20 screws and three plates, and it's taken two years worth of recovery. Now, superficial injuries, they might get you on the show too. You don't always have to snap a bone to get on here, you know? Nope, cuts and grazes could be good enough. So let's get ready to see some blood. Shattered elbow, radial head, they're not just really bad rock bands, these are serious injuries. Me and Corny Van Drill have got something in common. We've both done our radial head right there on the elbow, and you know what? You never really get the same uh, motion back. Oh. But not to be outdone, Roy Carter has got this one for us. Oh, shattered elbow, ouch. Now all these injuries are well and good, but there's one part of the body that gives all us cyclists a little bit more trouble than most. Yep, the old collarbone, the clavicle. It's a bit of a pain for us. So let's round off our hit list with a look at some of your very special collarbone moments. Thank you so much to our viewers who sent in these injuries. I hope you're all getting well and you're going to be back out on your mountain bike soon. If you want to see some more videos from GMBN, then click up here to see our Over the Bars showreel. And you can click down here if you're still feeling brave. Four ways to go big on your mountain bike with Brendan Fairclough. Click on the logo to subscribe. And if your wrists still work, give us a thumbs up like. 